Hey, welcome to another OzStars Fun Project. I'm in the middle of replacing an intake manifold gasket on this 93 Corvette, has the LT1 engine, and that'll be coming, that video will be coming up soon. I figured while I had everything out, the fuel injectors are off right now. Things are kind of open up. I'd show you some of the key sensors in case you're working on your own car and you want to know the location of these things. So let's go down and take a look. We're on the passenger side of the car. I've got the wheel and tire removed because, like I said, I'm working on this thing. I want to get in close. So let's start up front here. We've got the air box. That's where the air filter is. And that comes along here to the air intake. Right here we've got the uh, air temperature sensor. So this is the uh, this measures or lets the ECM <clears throat> know what temperature the incoming air is. Right here you've got the TPS, which is the throttle position sensor. This thing right here shaped like a P. There's a connector for it. Then we have down here the idle air control valve. That's the IAC. That thing right there that's kind of round. So that controls the amount of air coming in at idle. And over here, let me move the, uh, this is for the fuel injection harness. These right here, these clips. This is what your fuel injectors are uh, plugged into. Anyhow, this solenoid right there has two vacuum lines. One's coming, uh, going to the throttle body, and the other one comes from the um, vapor canister. Anyhow, this solenoid controls the, the fuel vapors, and the ECM opens and closes to allow those to, to be reburned. Up here, we got the MAP sensor. That's uh, MAP, Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor. You got that. Let's move towards the... Oh, while we're up here, let's check this out down here. This is something that a lot of Corvettes have an issue with. C4, anyway. Um, right down in here, this is the ICM. This is the Ignition Control Module. And then just below that, down here, this piece, this is the coil. So this thing is the coil. That's the ICM. Here's a bleeder valve for the um, cooling system if you need to uh, flush your coolant. you, you got to get that trapped air out. That's a brass bleeder valve right here. Crack that open. Heading towards the back. Let's see. Well, we can see the EGR is back. That's on the back driver's side. That stands for exhaust gas recirculation. It's part of the emission system. And then right here, just over to the side of it, that connector, this sensor right here, that is the EGR solenoid, which the ECM controls that to open and uh, close that for the vacuum to the EGR. You can see that vacuum tube on the top, which runs right to it. So I think that's pretty much on this side. Let's go around onto the driver's side and see what's over there. Okay, over here on the driver's side, let's start, uh, we're at the left front, there's the headlamp. Down here below the headlamp is the um, air pump, that round looking thing right there, that's your air pump, that's for emissions. When the engine's cold, it'll pump air in there to keep uh, emissions down. What else can we see over here? Of course, that's the throttle, this is this side of the throttle body where the cable linkage Throttle accelerator cable linkage comes in. I have it disconnected right now. And right here is a good one. That is the PCV valve. Let me get this connector out of the way. Right there is your PCV valve, that silver disc um, positive crankcase ventilation valve. And we already saw the EGR. I think that's pretty much it for the engine sensors. There's a coolant sensor around there. Oh, it's on the other side. Or down there, I should say. It's kind of hard to see. Right down in there. And people always look for the fan relays for the uh, cooling system. These are your two fans for the primary and the auxiliary fans. So they're located on the driver's side of the radiator above the air pump. So they're right here. If you ever need those, 
They're diagnosed those are right there.